Alright guys, so this here is a 3D printed RC plane I've been working on. It's the Q-Trainer from 3D Lab Print. It's nearly done as you can see, but when it's finished there'll be a video, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. But, you can see I've nearly printed all these pieces, right? But some of them are really, really bad. Like this one here has got this huge blob and just... This black muck all over it, and it's like... Well, that's not ideal. And the thing is, this problem is very easy to fix. And this Ultra RC video is going to be all about how to stop your 3D printer from leaking like this. So let's crack right into it. So basically, what happened to me was I was printing two parts of a fuselage, and then it stopped extruding because the nozzle was clogged. So I took my hot end apart, this piece here, and cleaned it out with acetone. And then I put it back together, and it was printing all right. As you can see, this piece turned out all right. But then the next few pieces had all this black muck all over it. That's not very good, so I kept printing, and then I got this massive mess on here. And that was because I did not assemble this correctly. So there's three parts to this. You've got the cold end, which is this threaded tube. You've got the nozzle on this end. And you've got this block, which is the hot bit in between there. And this wire goes into the, the heating bit and the thermistor so that the printer knows how hot it is. You've got the nozzle and the cold end. They both screw into the hot bit in the middle. The motor pushes the filament through the cold bit because it can't push hot filament into this bit and then it melts and goes out the end, right? So what happened was I assembled it back together and I thought to myself, I don't want it to leak, so I'll put the nozzle up as tight as I can and then I put this tube in and then I'm done, right? But what you actually need to do is put the nozzle in all the way, back it off one turn so that it's not pushed against this, it's not tight, then you put the tube in, so it's touching the nozzle, and then you tighten the nozzle against the tube. It's important that the nozzle is tightened against the tube and not the block, because then it leaks otherwise and you have this problem. As long as you make sure you tighten the nozzle against the tube, it's going to be alright. Don't tighten the nozzle and then put the tube in. It's that simple. Thanks for watching this awesome Ultra RC video. I hope that fixes your problem with this leaking extruder. It's very, very simple, very, very easy. If I watched this video, I wouldn't have had this plane with this problem in it. So it's very easy. Thanks for watching this awesome Ultra RC video. Remember, if you want to see this plane actually flying, well, notifications so you don't miss that awesome video. But for now, thanks for watching. Like the video, comment down below, and I'll see you around later.